Tonight, from Soldier Field in Chicago, it's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. The Chicago Bears taking on the Washington football team. The sun is set in Chicago. The temps have dipped and will continue to do so. Jacket and blanket weather. It's that time of year at Soldier Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington football team and the Chicago Bears. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Fielded in the end zone. The first carry now for David Montgomery. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Open man here, Sims complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 50 catches for him now on the year. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. A great move by Montgomery. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. We know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, he breaks through. Yeah, he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Murray with a third and long. And able to find Alan Lazard. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made. So first and ten now from the 30. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is. To throw, it's Murray. He'll get this to Lazard. A gain of 13. It's a first down. The 13-yard line. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And it's caught, and he'll be brought down. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Toward the end zone. I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of letting play action and maybe throwing it. They'll run for him with Montgomery. And he's going to run into a brick wall. Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. Guy 
Harris with the carry on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold. Third down. Here's Haskins. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And they will score a pick six for Bears touchdown. And the drive begins with a run by Geis. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. As it used to be, as soon as they hit 30, we want to get rid of these guys and go to the younger guys. But now that the guys are taking such great care of themselves, as you pointed out, you can still get explosive runs at any age. Snap comes at one. Now Haskins. Throwing right, and that's complete. First down, Washington. Here's Haskins to throw. Haskins hit, and he lost the football. And I think the Bears have recovered. They have. The and in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football. Brings up second and nine. On second and nine, Murray. The throw taken in by Sims. From the gun on third down, Murray. Open man is Komet, the tight end. Shotgun now for Murray. And that is incomplete. Maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to have another first down. Keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Now Haskins on first down. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And all the way down to the 29. On first down, this is Geis. And only able to muster a couple. That's in front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Haskins now off the bootleg. And this is caught at the eight. Washington with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They've got it first and goal at the seven. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. A toss right to Geis, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. From the gun, Murray. He'll get that complete to his tight end command. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. That's caught by Montgomery. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. He just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. And they'll run the option to start the drive. From the 40 now on second down. Haskins got his man complete over the middle. It's Lawrence. First down, Washington. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's got it across midfield. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Now a run with Geis. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he is in to the end zone for a Washington touchdown. First down, Murray. And he'll be hit. Murray again, second and 10. And he finds Montgomery complete. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
Play action. Haskins slings this deep from McClure. And that's caught inside the 35. On first down, it's Thomas. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now Thomas. And he's brought down at the 24. Two ticks left here in the half. On is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And a 10-year vet knocks it through the goalposts. And that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at Lucas Oil Stadium in the capital city of Indianapolis, where you see the final score there. Amari Cooper, two touchdown catches in the victory. Next, we head off to check out another game. And it was the visiting San Francisco 49ers that come in and get the victory. 28-24, the final score. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh. Check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field. And they were winners in their ball game over the visiting Buffalo Bills. 35-17 was the final. In our game, it was Dwayne Haskins with a strong first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. They start the second half with a run by Geis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. On first and 10, it's Haskins. And this will be incomplete. Second and 10. Here's Haskins again. Off to Thomas on the left side. And they're going to have this across midfield. Throwing now. Haskins on first down. And incomplete. Second and 10 now. Haskins. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Here's Geis. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down. Now it's Haskins. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Johnson. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. Throw left side complete. It's Romero. And he'll be taken down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Hard by. There's Murray. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. And the Bears are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll run with Montgomery. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line. Double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense. Bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. 
They try again with Montgomery. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there. And he's got a Bears touchdown. Haskins and the Washington offense going to come up here first and 10 at their own 18. This is Geis. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Looking to throw, Haskins. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. On first down, it's Haskins. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. From the gun, it's Haskins. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. On third down, Thomas. Yeah, he needed to get to the midfield stripe, but he can't do it. They'll try and throw for it with Haskins. And he finds McLaurin. Touchdown, Washington. Complete Terry McLaurin, his fifth touchdown, touchdown now on the year. Throwing on first down is Murray. A throw left side taken in by Kinnett. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. From the gun, Murray. Open man here, Sims complete. Not like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens. On the ground, it's Geis. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They stay on the ground. Geis again. Knocks it over. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They'll run on first down. It's Thomas. Oh, no. He lost the football. Geis. And not allowing any lanes to open up. here again they run again it's Geis it's so close he gets it to the one out of bounds right there first and goal six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up on the ground Geis and maybe a measure of revenge there they'll try to run this one in and he is met quickly in the back as they exhort him to join him in the effort. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. Offense. Now Haskins. Buying time to his left. He can run, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. The quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. Open man is coming. I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap it. With him running the team, that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Brings up second and five. Again, they'll throw with Murray. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he got blown up. The Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And that will be incomplete. They're going for it. It's Murray. 
And no, it's incomplete. They'll try and burn some clock with Geis. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They'll run with Geis. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Following the penalty, it's Geis. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And we'll see if the defense wants to stop it. Washington about to close this one out. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This is a 26-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to... And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Deron Payne. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.